Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that eight employees were sent on on-site for a corporate meeting and were accommodated in a hotel. The diagram shows the plan of one hotel floor and it has eight rooms and each room is occupied by a different person. Now the rooms are categorized as two types, either suites or deluxe rooms. R3, R6 and R8 are suites. The larger rooms are suites and others are deluxe rooms. And the suites are occupied by executive while deluxe room is occupied by a manager. And people are considered as neighbors if their rooms share a common wall. For example, R1 is a neighbor of R2 and R6. Now the additional information given to us is that the number of neighbors of Pushkar is equal to the number of neighbors of Ranjit. So the first thing that we will do is we will find the number of neighbors of each of these rooms. So if someone is staying in R1, it has two neighbors. So two here. R2 has one, two and three neighbors. R6 has one, two, three and four neighbors. R7, like if you look, uh, there is one neighbor, two neighbor and three neighbors. These are not neighbors. So just three neighbors. R3 has one, two, three, four and five neighbors. Highest number of neighbors. Similarly, we have symmetrical shape this side. This will be three neighbors, two neighbors and four neighbors. OK, so now the number of neighbors could be two, two, three, three or four, four. The same number could be two, three, four. So we will figure out the rest of the information. Sia is a neighbor to both Pushkar and Umar. So we do not know where is Pushkar and Umar. Tanvi is an executive and a neighbor to Vani who does not stay in R7. So again, executive can stay in R3, 6 or 8. Last statement says Umar is in R8. Now this will help us fill some people. So Umar is in R8 and Pushkar is not his neighbor. Okay. So Pushkar cannot be in these rooms. So Pushkar can be in one of these three rooms. Okay. Then next we have is Sia is a neighbor to both Pushkar and Umar. Now Pushkar is not, uh, not in this room. So we may have a possibility that uh, Sia is in this room, right? So if we give Sia here, let us take this condition. If Sia is here, then we may have Pushkar here because Sia becomes neighbor to both. Now, if you see this, then uh, we have to have, uh, it is given that Pushkar is equal to Ranjit. So only two rooms have four neighbors. So Pushkar cannot be on this room. Okay, so we will eliminate this possibility. Now, another possibility is Sia is in this room. Okay. If Sia is in this room, so that means that uh, Pushkar, again, Pushkar cannot be in this room because the room with four people, four neighbors is already occupied. So Pushkar has to be in this room. So Sia and Pushkar we get like this. Then we are given that Tanvi is an executive. So she is an executive. So Tanvi will be in R6, right? And uh, is a neighbor to Vani does not stay in R7. So Vani does not stay in R7. That means Vani is in R1. Okay, so we have got uh, uh, this Vani, Pushkar, Tanvi, Sia and uh, even Umar. Okay, so we are left with three more people. That is PQ is remaining. R is remaining and W is remaining. Okay, so these are done. Pushkar and Neighbors of Ranjit are equal. So Pushkar has three neighbors. So Ranjit will also have three neighbors. So Ranjit can come here or here. Then next statement is given as Kader and Vaseem are not neighbors. Now we cannot put Kader and Vaseem both here. Okay. So uh, we have to put one of Kader or Vaseem in room seven. So one of them will be here. That means Ranjit will be in room four. So Ranjit is also sorted and this will be Vaseem or Kader. Okay, so this satisfies all the conditions of these eight people staying in these rooms. So let us look at the questions. How many neighbors does Pushkar have? So Pushkar has three neighbors. Who is staying in R7? We cannot determine who is staying in R7. So it could be Vasim or it could be Kader. Who among the following is definitely not a neighbor of Sia? So Sia is in R3. We have uh, Vani is not a neighbor. Kader is a neighbor, can be a neighbor, right? It is saying definitely not. So Kader can be a neighbor. 
Okay, so we will not choose that as the answer. Uh, then Tanvi is obviously a neighbor and Ranjit is also a neighbor. Vani is definitely not a neighbor. Which of the following statements is definitely false? Which of these is false? Vaseem is a neighbor of Umar. So Vaseem is neighbor of Umar. That is true. Pushkar has more neighbors than Vani. So Pushkar has three neighbors. Vani has two neighbors. So this is true. Ranjit has fewer neighbors than Vaseem. So Ranjit has three neighbors. Vaseem may have two neighbors or three neighbors, but that cannot be definitely fewer. It will be equal. So R, it is the statement is saying that R is less than W, which is false because R is either greater than or equal to W. So that is our answer. Tia is not a neighbor of Kadir. That is uh, not necessarily false because maybe a neighbor of Kadir may not be a neighbor of Kadir. So this cannot be determined. But the third statement is definitely a false one. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.